Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy and welcome to So You. If you have not already, please like, share, and subscribe to my page. I would really appreciate it. And hit that notification down below so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Hey, so today is Freestyle Friday. So guess what happens on Freestyle Friday? Y'all know everything is freestyle. And if you're following me on my Facebook page, you'll see that I posted a sample um, pic of what we're going to be doing. Here it is. So, that's what we're going to be sewing today. And I'm going to let you know what fabrics you're going to need for that beautiful black fitting scuba knit dress. Cute. With the layered sleeves. So, First, you're going to need, and this is a mesh. I got a black mesh fabric, and I only needed half a yard of this. All you're going to need is half a yard of this black mesh, okay? Then you're going to need your organza. Do not get tool. Do not get tool. Get organza. It's a little bit more pricey. It's a little pricier, but... This is what's going to give you that look that's on that picture. I got two yards of this organza. Then you're going to need your scuba knit, your neoprene knit, whatever knit you want. As you can see, this is a nice um, uh, thick one. You don't want any flimsy ITY jersey knit. You don't want any of that for this dress. You want a nice form-fitting knit so it will just lay with you. So this one is a nice knit that you're going to need then you're going to need your bias tape and i always get the double fold bias tape it's easier to deal with i just like these and i got you got about seven of these they come in three yard quantities so you can find these at walmart um i got these at joann's today and i got an invisible zipper and I got a 20, 22 inch. I don't want to pull it over my head. So I got it where I can zip it up. So these are the items that you're going to need for um, this beautiful dress you're getting ready to create. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. Now, as you can see, now this pattern right here, the Cynthia Rowley, I love the way this pattern, this dress looks on me so it's kind of one of my go-to's when I want a nice fitty dress so this is what I am going to be using okay pattern number uh, 8733 with simplicity so and I did the longer version what I'm going to do is and as you can see I have folded over because according to the picture there's mesh there this part is going to be the mesh the black mesh Okay, I folded down this pattern four and a half inches. That's what I did. I folded that down four and a half inches. Okay, then what I am going to do also is extend this dress. And I want to extend this because I want it right at my calf. I want this one right at my calf and curving in. So I'm, I'm going to extend this one about four inches. Okay, four inches is what I'm going to extend this, four inches. So all you do is you just go down, get your chalk, and mark where you want to extend. Okay, that's all you do. Mark where you want to extend, four inches. Okay, got that mark, and then you just start, you just connect these. Okay, you don't have to connect. Now, this fabric is on the fold, okay? This is on the fold right here. This is my front piece, so I don't want a, a seam line there. This is my front piece. This is my back piece. As you can see, you got darts in here. You remember that pink cape dress? That's the same fit. The only difference is I'm going to add a little length to this one. So, 
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it out and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So, as you can see, I cut my pattern out and I've added and extended four inches to the length. I told you I folded these panels over four and a half inches because this is going to be the mesh. This part is the mesh. So, as you can see, I laid my mesh and this is a fold. It's on the fold just like the center front, uh, the front pattern. So, what I'm going to do now is take this flip it over and just pin it take this one flip it over and pin it and so now all you got to do is cut it you, you're just going to cut it according to the pattern see how easy that is just cut that according to the pattern Cool, 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 cool. Cut that according to the pattern. Okay. And really, I got so much. I got a half a yard. I only think you, you didn't even have to get that much, but I'll probably use it for something else. And then you just put your slits in it, just like there. Put your slit there. Now, you see the little marking for your the little underarm marking? You just put that dot there. You're going to treat it just like it was that panel. <laughs> uh, just like it was that dress, rather. Okay. Put my little marking there. Now, what I'm going to do is, because I got all my markings, I put all my markings on my, my darts. And you know what? I just thought about it. I did not put my markings on my bus darts. So right now, that is what I am going to do. You know how we do it. Put those pins in there. So you can have a guide. Do both sides. Take it out as you go. Do both sides. You got. Do not miss your markings. Markings are very important. Okay. Oh. Now, that that's done. Now what you do is you're going to take your pins out, put your pattern to the side. Then we're going to work with the front first. I'm going to put this one over to the side. The back. This is the front, what we're going to work with. See? It's on the fold. So there is no seam in here. And as you can see, you can see my little dots in there for my bus starts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those together because I'm getting ready to go over to the machine and uh, sew my darts, bus darts in. I'm going to sew those in first. Let me show you what I'm going to do while I'm over there at the machine as well. You can kill two birds with one stone, okay? That's what we're doing today. Killing two birds with one stone. Okay. So, okay. So now we got that. We know that is the inside. Okay? Now I'm going to turn the right side out and get my mesh. This is my piece of mesh fabric. And what I'm going to do is place it right on that line there right sides uh, oh Lord. right sides to right side yeah that is right side okay right sides to right sides okay always right sides to right sides because if you do it any other way you're going to you're gonna sew a seam on the outside okay so Put your pins in there and make sure you, you at least put about four or five pins in, in, in this because this mesh can tend to slide. So, you see you got that on there. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to go and sew five, and a, five eighths of an inch seam allowance there. And then you're going to sew your darts from dot to dot, okay? And then when you do that, we're going to come back, all right? 
Okay, um, as you can see, I added my mesh on to my dress, added my mesh on here. I've sewn down my... Oh, Cooper, you just got a snack. Calm down. So, sewn down my bust darts. And then I, I sewn down the, um, gave it a top stitch across here as well. Okay. So, now that the front is finished, we're going to, and I press my darts down as well, uh, bust darts. I'm going to put this one over to the side. Now, we're going to grab our back piece. And we know our back piece, we should have two pieces of uh, uh, mesh fabric. Should have two, okay? And so what you're going to do is you're going to sew them down. I mean, you're going to pin those down right sides to right sides, okay? And those down right sides to right sides. And the other one, the same way. Right side to right side. And so when you do that, what you're going to do now is you see your, your dots for your. Um, darts so now you're gonna pin those so you can have your guide for that okay your bus starts so you go over to the sewing machine and i tell you we killed two birds with one stone we're not going one step one step this and that you gotta be able to sew this stuff down and go over one time so you can uh spend less time sewing you should be able to sew this dress at some point I don't expect you to do that as soon as you, I mean, as soon as you start sewing. But after a while, you I, I could sew this dress in. Well, the sleeves is what's going to take up the time. So I'm not going to put a time on it. I was going to say a couple of hours. But I'm not going to put a time on it because of the sleeves. Those sleeves are going to take some time. And you'll notice that. So now what we're going to do is, since we have our back mesh piece on on both of them and then we got our darts sewn down we're gonna go and while you're doing this too so we're gonna kill three birds we're gonna sew our back on as well okay at our our back where our um zipper starts zipper stop okay we're gonna do that too right now so you see where your um you should have a uh, um wait a minute wait a minute I got something backwards here okay like something is not lining up here okay there we go there we go like my shoulders uh my um arms seams are not lining up so you should have we're back on target now. <laughs> you see that notch there? That's where we're going to end our zipper at. Because I got a 22 inch zipper. I wanted a long zipper uh, for this dress. So what I'm going to do is start here. Go all the way down. That'll be the beginning. The um, stop for my zipper. So we're going to do all three of those steps. And we're going to come back. Alright lovelies. So, we've gotten our darts, back darts sewn on. We've gotten our um, mesh pieces put on for the, uh, the back, as you can see. I did not sew this down yet. I'm going to give it a top stitch across. I didn't do that, just like I did the front. And so, um, I gave all my seams a good press, as you can see. Nice press, see, uh, all of that. Now, this is ready, actually, for the um, front piece. So, just grab your front piece. And you go, this is the right side. Now, I'm going to put the right side on top of that one. Okay. 
and I'm gonna go up here to the top and pin that's really really um now some people might want to put a little piece of I don't want anything in there. I'm gonna do a very thin seam on here some people might want to put a piece of ribbon uh, in there to give it some more strength I, I don't I don't do mine like that I want it almost seamless like an invisible seam so once I give it a seam then I'm gonna cut it across all the way down grade it all the way down and uh, cut all that out of there so you can barely see it it'll look like it's just a illusion look like it's all connected into one piece okay so do that then we're gonna pin our sides down okay pin your sides down on both sides all the way down give it a 5 8 7 inch uh, stick and then we'll come right back okay so now we have um, our dress connected and we put in our zipper the zipper in in the back now what we're going to do is we're going to lay this to the side only thing we have to do left for this is add the sleeves and hem the bottom and in mind what I did was I put a little uh, about a three inch um, it's a four inch little split I don't know if you can see that a little four inch split in the back just something cute just in the back something different so we're going to put this over to the side and now it's time for our sleeves and like I said I got four um no two yards of the organza fabric and my sleeves are going to be three tier and um, the tiers are going to get bigger as they go down so that means I need six right six so what I'm gonna do is because that first sleeve is going to be really big that first the bottom one is gonna be big so what I'm gonna do I can fold my fabric over I can kind of see where I want it okay so that then you see how I folded that now I'm gonna fold it again over so here's my fold over here so let me see the circumference of my arm is um it's a total of 14 all the way around so you divide that into four is what you want I'm gonna mark that right there and then take it and mark it over here and then I'm gonna combine it it's my circle I'm gonna cut that Now what I'm going to do is this sleeve goes down 10 before it starts. So I'll mark that 10. I'm going to take them down to 10. This is going to be 10. So now what I do is I cut that. should have two yep see yeah two one two that's going to be the bottom one okay it's gonna be my bottom and I'm gonna gather it as well that's the bottom so what you can do from here is use this as your basis how you're going to cut the rest of the sleeves, okay? Use this now. 
So now we know we want. So this is, we know that's 10. So put the other one probably at. Because you're going to have the binding on there. And that's going to be another inch. So we're going to put this one at 6. And then we're going to put the first one at 4. Yeah. So 4, 6, and 10. This is 10. Now I'm going to do my next one at 4. And then uh, 6 and 10. So grab your fabric. All of them on this one. Let's see. If I can get all of them. Let me see. What is that? Let's see if I can get six. I'm going to go down three. And three here. And combine them. My circle. My circle. Okay. Now I'm going to go over six. That's my little pen. I'm going to go over six. 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 So I'm going to cut it out six. I'm going to cut all these out at six first. Okay. So I should have four. Okay. One, two, three, four. So that's my six. Pin those together. And this is going to be my four. So that means I got to put it together and cut it again. That was just easier for me. If y'all know a different way, hey, help yourself. But this is the way I do mine. Okay. So put it back together. Getting ready to cut it. Okay. And then gonna mark it at four. Okay. Four. Okay. Four. So I got my two four. So let me kind of show you. What we working with. That's the six. This is the four. And this is the ten. Okay. Let me put them on top and let me see what you see. What we got. Okay, see that? See that? It's already coming together, isn't it? So what we're going to do is you're going to take it to your sewing machine. You're going to sew all of these together all the way around so you can have your sleeve. At least they'll all be together. You want to get these all together. You got to gather in there. That's fine. Gather it in. Gather it in if you got too much of one size. You should have the same. But see how that's coming together? It's really cute, isn't it? So we're going to do that for both sides. And then I'm going to show you how to add your binding next. Okay, so we have sewn on both of these together. And we got all three layers on each one. I'm put that one out the way. Open this up. 
open that out. It look like that. Now we'll always start at the bottom. And basically what I do is I just sandwich that in there. Go all the way around. And you're gonna do that on each one. When you come back over to this one, you're gonna overlap it. Okay. So I'll show you how the first one look. I'll be right back. Okay, so um I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm doing. And how I'm adding this, you gotta just sandwich. See how I'm sandwiching that binding in there? Look at how it's starting to look here. That is how you do it. You just let me do it one more time for you. Sandwich it in there. Now, if you need a pin, you can put pins in there. Now, I get the wide because. The wide catches the organza better. Okay? So, that's how you do it. You need me to do it one more time? I can, I can do it one more time for you. Just kind of let you see. Put that in there. And only do a small amount at a time. Because you do not... You don't want to do too much and then not catch it. And it it's a headache if you do that. So, this is how it's starting to look really going to be pretty just imagine that with three layers so we'll be right back okay so as you can see i got my binding on my sleeves got it on there i did three layers um i think in the picture it's four but okay so actually it's ready to be connected to our dress but first what you got to do is you got to make an encasement so what you're going to do is you're going to flip that over just flip your hem the hem that you have here flip it over okay flip that over because you're going to have to make an encasement and measure your arm because the dress is going to <laughs> this is awkward measure how much you need for where you want that sleeve to sit and it's going to sit right there at your armpit okay so measure that that's how much elastic you're going to need let's take out some because you know elastic gives so you don't want it too tight though then what you're going to do you sew that encasement you're going to grab a pin and you take that pin and you're going to take it all the way around so that'll give you some elastic wear to hold the sleeve up. Okay? Show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I got my casing sewn in and then I got a pin. I got my uh, elastic still in here so I can kind of see how tight I want this. Because the worst thing you can have is it too tight. Okay, and you don't want to have it too loose either. It's going to be falling down. So, you just want to get the tension right. And then you go back in and you just sew that around. See that casing there? It's the casing. I started to add some binding, but I said, no, I'm not going to do that. because. And then the pieces that you just need to clean up, just go in there. So, sew these... Um, I'm going to take that pin out, sew these down, and then give it another stitch all the way around. And then I'm ready to add these um, to the dress after that. So to see the final look, um, stay tuned. But I'm going to just show you the final look that um, is on the picture. Um, I'll have this on on Sunday. So if you want to go to my Facebook page, um, you will be able to see me in it. Um, CJ Couture by Kathy Johnson. Okay, so you can go to that page on Sunday and see me in this outfit. All right. Peace, love, and blessings.